Hey guys, so I'm here today to film my April favorites for you. I actually haven't filmed a favorites video since January, I think. So this is like an April favorites, but also like a recent favorites because I'm a cheater and a cheat. So the first thing I want to mention is my skincare routine, not a specific item or product, just my routine in general. I have a um, get on ready with me video and a morning skincare routine video on this channel. I will link them both in here or down below because I have been just obsessed with my skin. Um, right now it's kind of breaky outy because I'm on my period or actually it's about to start. So that's not my skincare's fault. That's mother nature's fault. But I came home from New Orleans and my skin was a disaster. I did not take care of it very well. I was out all hours of the night. I took a makeup off every night, but I didn't do my full skincare routine and sometimes I just used my cellar water to remove it and I was just like a mess. And then on the flight home, I didn't put a moisturizing mask on, which I normally do. And then I didn't wear makeup that day, so I didn't wash my face when I got home that night. So my skin was just a wreck. I had texture issues all over again, but within like one week of using my morning and nighttime skincare routine, my skin was a thousand percent back to normal. So I'm obsessed with my skincare routine. If you have normal to dry skin like me and you have texture issues, Watch those videos, they're magical. For foundation, I have been loving my NARS Longwear, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I am in the shade Mont Blanc. It's the same shade I've always been in, uh, Sheer Glow. I just love this foundation. It's what I'm wearing on my skin today. It's radiant, it's natural. It gives you really great coverage. I use two pumps of this to cover my whole face and then sometimes I use another like half pump for um, extra coverage because I do find the pump size is really small on this like NARS is trying to shame you into using less product but like don't come for me NARS I do what I want so yeah love this foundation so much I have put a pretty big dent in this since just buying it um, another foundation I've been loving is the it cosmetics your skin but better CC plus illumination this is in the shade fair it's a little dark for me but I've actually been mixing it with my NARS foundation when I want more radiance because this is a super glowy foundation and I did wear this a lot on its own when I was in New Orleans when it was warmer out and I just this is just a holy grail for me it's one of my favorite foundations and I'm as you can see this is my second bottle and I'm almost done and when I do finish it up I will buy a third it's just flawless and the perfect summer foundation um I've actually Okay, this is only for like the last three days, but I've been baking and I've been loving it. Um, because I have dry skin and I have really dry under eyes, I've always been afraid of baking and so I've never really baked. I've always set my under eyes with a powder, but I've never baked before because I just thought it would make my under eyes look so dry and cakey. But I've been finding lately that I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder to set and I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape. And my I have fine lines under my eyes and by the end of the day, they would look like they would everything would be settled into my fine lines it would be all over here it would be dry and crusty and disgusting and so I was like the other night I tried baking and when I got home I had went to one of my to my husband's gig and I got home at like two o'clock in the morning and my under eyes still looked flawless they weren't it looks a little bit dry but in the long run it looks better as like the day progresses so I'll take the little bit of dryness as opposed to it looking dry and crepey and cakey like it normally does um, I baked today, can you tell? It all looks, it, like I just baked, so it probably looks fine. But yeah, I've been baking with my RCMA No Color Powder and it's life changing. I now see what all you bitches have been doing. For highlight, I have fallen back in love with my Anastasia Nicole Rowe palette. I have mentioned this a million times, so I won't harp on it for too long, but I couldn't bring it with me to New Orleans because it's so battered. But um, I'm wearing this shade today, which is Forever Lit. I also love this shade and this shade, Forever Young and Kitty Cat. They're like cool toned, pinky toned highlighters, which is right up my alley, and I absolutely adore them. I only really use three shades in this palette, but I would repurchase it over and over again regardless. For eyeshadow, I have been obsessed with all of my knockoff Hush palettes. So this is a knockoff of the Anastasia Prism palette. This is a knockoff of the Lime Prime Venus palette. This is a knockoff of the Cap Bonny Matte Metal palette. This is the knockoff of the Natasha Denona Lila palette. I got these all off Shop Hush. Um, and they're by the brands Ocalon and Bad Habit. And I have just been loving them. Today I'm wearing the Supernova palette on my eyes. And it's just so beautiful. I was trying to go for a simple look today and then this happened. 
This always happens to me. But like the colors in here are beautiful. The mattes are fantastic. There is some kick up, but like I literally don't care about kick up. Um, I use the colors Nebula and Flit. No, I use the color, yeah, Nebula and Solar on my lids. The shimmers in here are so beautiful. Um, I use the matte metal palette, or sorry, the Ocalon natural matte palette the other night and I did the most beautiful plummy kind of crease with this bronzy color all over the lid and I was dying for it. Another time I was going for a super simple look and then I ended up with a smoky blown out plum bronze look but I loved it. Same with the Venus palette, knockoff, so beautiful. And the Aura palette, I did a uh, first impressions review of this and I have worn it a couple times since then. And they're just fantastic like the quality is so decent for what you're getting I could not recommend those enough if you have been looking for a high-end palette but you just don't have the bank for it definitely check out shop hush if you're in America check out the app because you get free shipping if you're in Canada the shipping is a little pricey and they don't do free shipping on the app which is stupid and they don't actually let you do the app in Canada which is annoying but the shadows are fantastic and they're fantastic dupes I also think it's good to have like a dupe like this because like say I want to buy the prism palette but I'm not sure if I'm going to use these colors. If I buy this and I really love it, I might buy the prism palette but I bought this and realized that although I love these colors for every once in a while, like this is not a palette I'm going to wear all the time so I don't feel the need to buy the prism palette. You know? You know. I have three minutes left of my memory card but I only have two more things to talk about so let's give her. First is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I love this. Um, I will say there is a bit of a learning curve to using it. I'm not wearing it today because I was lazy. I definitely think my Kat Von D ink liner goes on easier. I just have a better handle of it. But this is such a beautiful dark ass matte black. Like it dries so matte. I absolutely love it. Um, I find it's a little bit hard to get a really fine point. I go through some q-tips while I put this on, but I am getting a lot better at it. Um, I did use it in one of my recent videos, which I will link somewhere. It's just a fantastic liquid liner for so cheap. Um, it does have a brush tip, which is why I think I have some trouble with it. I'm definitely more of a felt tip kind of girl, but regardless, I love this and it's fantastic. For lipsticks, I have been loving these nudie kind of brown lipsticks by Kat Von D. Um, today I'm wearing Kat Von D's Sanctuary lipstick, which has hands down been my favorite I've worn. It's so beautiful. It's just like this brownie kind of nude with purple undertones. And if you know anything about me, you know I love a purple undertone. I've also been loving Kat Von D's Hawkwind and Madrid. I can't find Hawkwind right now. I just realized that I have a mini size of the Sanctuary in my hand and not Hawkwind, but it's this beautiful like red to almost like a warmer tone of Sanctuary. It's so beautiful. And Madrid um, is another just like nudie kind of brown color, which is like right up my alley. I cannot wear nude eyeshadows. They just don't look good on me. They look like garbage on me and I hate them. They wash me out and they just do nothing for me. I've always been a bright lip kind of girl. So I'm trying to get into nudes and this is definitely like my nude area. So if you know, and know of any other like drugstore products that are nudes like this, let a girl know because I'm feeling them. I believe Madrid you can only get in her like Christmas set of like minis, but it's very similar to Hawkwind. So. so those are all my favorites for the month of April and a little bit more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your favorite products are so that I can check them out. Um, I will be uploading videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This one's coming up on a Tuesday because I had a serious migraine yesterday and I could not pre-film. It was killing me. So sorry, but I'm trying really hard to get on my schedule. Um, so subscribe to my channel, show me some love, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.